it was a shock. You so see, this is the president who during when we started this fight in 2017, he joined in and declared that he is preparedness to put his presidency on the line. This is a precedent that when it came to the COVID crisis, he carried the entire nation along with himself by constantly updating us on what is being done. And so you have a situation where even award winners at the, uh, the event were focused on the fact that we needed to stop this genocidal crisis that is confronting us as a nation. You even had the... Uh, the, the keynote speaker, who is not Ghanaian, a Nigerian, when he came, he even commented on the sketch of Galamse that is eating us all up as a people. And so when you had the GGA president demonstrate so much courage and an understanding of the issues that are at hand, and specifically makes the point that the president is the commander in chief. He has the power to be able to end this sketch that is you know, confronting us. So even if the president has any plans at all, you know, to be able to deal with it, it was opportune for him to have told us that he's even heard what the GGA president has said you know, and then tell us something. So it was, for me, it was a major pain that His Excellency, the President, did not say anything about the crisis that is confronting us as a people. And that, for me, is, the silence has already been too loud for me. But for me, on that evening, that night, close to midnight, when the President did not comment, it's, it's for me, was a major, major blow to the heart. And I am praying that His Excellency the President will take cognizance of the fact that starting from Utah, uh, GMA, the Ghana Medical Association, UTAC, organized labor, and then together with the media coalition, and now the Ghana Coalition against Galamse, our timeline for this particular action ends at 12 midday, at 12 midnight today. And so post that, the Ghana coalition against Galamse working together with Labour, we are going to take his advice that he gave on the 7th of January uh, 2017 and act as citizens and not spectators. We're going to use every democratic and legal tool that we have in our power taking uh, cognizance of the fact that the constitution puts sovereignty in the hands of we the people to take actions that will compel him to take action to save us, you know, from this eminent danger, existential challenge that confronts us.